welcome to GTD. Today I will be showing you how to set up the Siemens BT300 variable frequency drive for HVAC. The BT300 is a variable frequency drive intended for HVAC applications. The features of the drive are featured in a video on the link below. Before setting up the drive, it is important to look at the manual and check that the wiring configuration is properly set up. Please take the proper safety precautions when setting up a drive and turning on a motor. I will show you how to navigate through the setup wizard and how to access important parameters for a basic startup. Upon the initial startup, I will be prompted for language selection, then daylight savings, the time, the year, and the date. This is set up so that the day is first, then the month. Once I have put in these parameters, I will be prompted to run the startup wizard. I will choose yes. First, I will select the application to be a fan or a pump. For this demonstration, I will select fan. Next is the nominal voltage. These parameters can be found on the nameplate of the motor and should differ from motor to motor. I will leave the voltage at 230 volts and push OK. I will keep the motor nominal frequency at 60 Hz. Next is the motor nominal speed. I will use the arrow keys to change this to 1580 RPM according to my nameplate data. Next is the motor nominal current. This motor is rated for 0.63 amps, which I can change with the keypad. The motor cosine PHI is the power factor, which is often found on the nameplate as well. For this motor, it is 0.69. Next is the nominal power. This is listed on US motors as horsepower, and on European motors, it is listed as kilowatts. I will change this to 0.12 and then press OK. I will keep the minimum frequency at zero and the maximum frequency at 60. The next step here is my control reference. Changing this will allow me to select where the speed reference is while in auto mode. I will select AI1 for analog input one, where I have a speed pot already wired to the analog input. My next setting is the Excel time, which is currently set to 20 seconds. I will change this to 10 seconds and press OK. I will do the same for the decel time and set this to 10 seconds. My next setting will be Control Place Auto. This allows me to use Field Bus to control the drive or the I.O. of the drive. I would like to continue for my drive to be controlled by the I.O. configuration. I am given the option to have an automatic restart. I will not be testing this setting, so I will continue to the next parameter. The next option is the start function. The flying start is used when the motor has to catch up to an already spinning motor. For this demonstration, I will choose the ramping option. My last setting is the bypass wizard for creating a bypass function. This demo does not have a bypass, so I will opt out of this feature. Now my drive is ready to run off of the I.O. from an external controller. I will switch on DI1, which is wired to the digital inputs of the drive. Closing this switch will signal the motor to go in the forward direction. I can now turn my speed pot to adjust the speed. Going to M2 for the monitor menu will give me the option to see the motor's status. I will go to M2.2 for basic mode. Here I can see the exact frequency of the motor as I adjust my speed pot. I will push the back button a few times to get to the main menu. On the top part of the display is the letter M followed by a number. I will use this to help show how to change the motor data if needed outside of the setup wizard. I will go to the parameter menu, which is M3. The first option here is the motor settings. I will press OK to get to M3.1. Then I will select basic settings to be in M3.1.1. Here I can find the motor parameters. 
The M has changed to a P to indicate that these are parameters and not a part of the menu selection. Under this menu of parameters, I can choose to change the motor's voltage, frequency, speed, current, power factor, horsepower, current limit, and motor type. For changing the starting and stopping methods, I will need to go to M3.2. From here, I will press back until I get back to M3.1 and then scroll down to M3.2, the start-stop setup. If I press enter, the M will once again change to a P and I can scroll down to P3.2.4 for the start function and P3.2.5 for the stop function. Pressing OK on the stop function allows me to change the value from coast to stop to ramp to stop. I will press OK to make the change to ramp to stop and then press the back button after it is set. To change the operation to keypad, I will press the hand auto button on the upper right. Making changes to this menu will show real time results. If I change the value to 50 Hz, I can see the motor speed up accordingly. The keypad reference can also be changed on P3.3.6 and the direction of the motor can be changed on P3.3.7. Siemens BT300 HVAC drives along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.